I'm Joyce Roberts. I give leadership to Pierre Laclede Elementary School. My name is Carmen Charleston. I'm the instructional coordinator here at the Pierre Laclede School. Okay, my name is Lavina Tomlinson. I'm a third grade teacher at Pierre Laclede Elementary School. I'm Lisa Whitley, fifth grade lead teacher at Pierre Laclede Elementary School. And first I say good morning to you and welcome to Laclede School. Uh, my name is Isaac G. I am a custodian here at Laclede. My name is Shane Lane. I am in the fourth grade and 10 years old. My name is Maurice McNeil. I'm a fifth grade student at Pierre Laclede Elementary School. My name is Sandra Denise Smith. I am in fifth grade. My teacher is Miss Bird. I'm Deborah Faye Dampierre Bird. I'm a fifth grade teacher here at Laclede School, or one of the fifth grade teachers at Laclede School. My name is Audrey Ferguson. I'm a Title I math teacher at the Pierre Laclede School in the city of St. Louis. Hi, my name is Rihanna Davis. I've been going to Laclede School since I was in preschool, and I love this school because it's the number one school. I'm really trying to create leadership. I'm trying to do professional development, and I'm trying to give the teachers another um, view to their work other than my own and Ms. Charleston's. Ms. Roberts and Ms. Ms. Roberts, our principal, and Mrs. Uh, Carmen Charleston, they are our administrators, and they put the responsibility into our hands. They give us information that we need to work with, whether it's the uh, subject matter, the material that we're using with the children, the statistics, the different material that comes in that tell us how the students are scoring, and we use that daily. We make sure that we work with a, a packet each year that we put together called Must Teach Skills. She kind of lets you um, choose your path, and then she'll help you any way that she can. My job as instructional coordinator is to coordinate the instruction between the teachers and the district to make sure they are supported in what they do in teaching the curriculum. The reform model that we use is a combination of effective and efficient schools and the St. Louis model. And there are five correlates to that model. The first is strong administrative leadership. The second is having a conducive learning climate for the children. The third is emphasis on instruction. The fourth is having very high expectations of achievement. And the fifth is assessment and evaluation of what you do. I said, what are some things that we can compare? Not answers. What can we compare using a Venn diagram? Sean Robinson. We try to do a, um, several things when we use the graphic organizers to help them become better writers from um, organizing their information from stories. We compare stories today, we compare the two animals. We wanted to show how they were alike and how they were different. Beginning this school year, at the direction of the Department of Special Education, we moved into what is known as classroom within a classroom and placed our special ed students who were in fifth grade into a regular classroom. In my fifth grade classroom, we're practicing inclusion. That's where the special ed students are housed in my class. They work with the students. They travel with the students. Assisting me is a special ed specialist, Mrs. Palmer. Ms. Palmer brings to the class her expertise in dealing with special ed students. As far as um, all the rules and regulations, making sure that the IEPs are covered, making sure that um, all the students are getting, making sure that all the students are receiving what's prescribed for them as far as their weakest needs are concerning. She's used to help special needs students as well as those students who have been labeled at risk. This has worked well because our fifth grade children will be moving on to middle school, which will be a very different situation. We wanted to uh, make our special ed children feel important and valued, but more importantly, we wanted to prepare them for the math test as well. Our goal is for every student to score in levels four and or five on the MAP test. 
the Missouri Assessment Program. Any child who does not score in these levels is giving special attention so that they can raise those levels to four and five. Map preparation begins the very first day of school. We try to mold our students into um, delivering answers within complete sentences. We try to basically give them more um, constructed response questions when we're delivering instruction or even when we're doing assessments. I have been at Laclede School, this is my third year. And at Laclede School, I find that we have such a warm uh, climate when it comes to working together. Laclede School seems to run much smoother than many other schools, not because we have uh, people who are different. We have people who are committed to serving to the students academically. We make sure we talk with the children on self-esteem. We build character education into all of our educational activities. And the students at Laclede really know that the, we, we have pride here when it comes to the AAA standards. The AAA standards are our are main rules, like being on honor roll. That means that we have good achievement. On perfect attendance, we come to school every day for attendance. And in most caring, our attitude. Laclede School has also been nominated by the Department of Education to be a candidate for the Blue Ribbon No Child Left Behind Award, which is promoted by the President. At this time, we will be looking at the same areas that we have always uh, put our emphasis on. That committee will look at our leadership, our expectations, our climate for the children, our achievement scores. The superintendent is our instructional leader and he put in place an accountability plan for every school uh, in the district. And we were able to meet our benchmarks the first uh, year the accountability plan was uh, effected. And so uh, every teacher on staff received a, uh, a monetary award that was adjusted also so that it was shared with the non-certificated staff. And then we also received additional funding for supplies to be used directly for the school. I came from Peabody School where there was a very strong support system and academic strength there too. But when I came to Laclede School, I saw that a lot of the uh, statistics and test scores were being used on a daily basis. Uh, we looked at what was working and we continued to uh, do positive things to keep that in motion and to build on those things. But whatever was not working, we, we, we would put that to the, we would toss that to the side and find another way of making sure we were presenting the material to the students so that they would succeed. So here at Laclede School, I find that not only do we work with people as staff members working together, that's whether it's a classroom teacher, whether it's our ancillary teachers like RGM Music, our support staff uh, such as Ms. Clemens, all the way around you'll find that the teacher, staff, administration, we work together for the betterment of the child. To give a brief description of some of the duties I do at the school, custodian is a part of what I do. And as a custodian, my primary and most important concern is the cleanliness and safety of the school for our children because I have found out that when the children are in a clean environment and a safe environment, they tend to adapt and want to learn more and want to do more. I have been coming to this school three years. What I like about school, what I like about Pierre and the Queen School is that it's the number one school. Also that it takes care of other people and we, and we have the three tri AAA standards. Our top jobs are learning and powerful learning and powerful teaching. Um, we have our number one, Ms. Ferguson is our state, Missouri State Teacher of the Year. She's a very great teacher. She teaches math. Just measure your arm length. And I'm going to use paper clips. So would you please measure your arm in paper clips. As a remedial math teacher, 
I work with students who have been identified in the regular classroom as students having problems with math. I work with students who have in many cases been struggling with basic skills. And the direct instruction is necessary to get those skills, to get the children ready. But the greatest joy I get is to see one of my remedial students actually learn what the skill is we've been working on. When they've mastered it, it's exciting to watch the sparkle in their eye and the enthusiasm in their voices, to watch them raise their hands and be eager to want to go to the chalkboard and show their teacher and their fellow classmates and me that they know how to do the problem. This is how I want my arm measured. I want it to go from my shoulder right here to my wrist. I don't want it down hanging over my hands. So I'm, I'm going to get two people and I want those two people to measure my arm for me. In the spring of the year, I received an application asking that I nominate a staff person for possibly uh, representing the district as teacher of the year at the district level. And of course, Ms. Ferguson came to mind right off the top. And she came to mind because she is very dedicated and committed. I'm getting ready to get she the goes above right and beyond now. the call of duty. Right she is interested in all children being successful, but more importantly, that's a part of her belief system. And you have to believe it and trust it before uh, providing the, the, the strong um, instructional program can even begin to flow. Yes, at our school, we have a motto. It is think you can, work hard, so you can get smart. That's how our school became number one. That's how we have the number one teacher, the 2002-2003 uh, Teacher of the Year. And also at our school, teachers take learning to make it fun. Like Ms. Ferguson, our math teacher, she, um, on Fridays, we have a uh, day called Game Day. She takes boards, she makes Jeopardy boards, bingo boards, and all type of boards for us to learn. It's wonderful to know that I'm preparing children to function independently, that they don't need my help anymore. In other words, I'm working myself out of a job. And in doing that, I know that I'm effective. She is, she is a wonderful math teacher. Ms. Ferguson had the personality and the wherewithal to move staff and students to higher levels of achievement. And so that is a, a portion of the reason why I felt that uh, at that time she was quite deserving. But more importantly than that, I know that every member on this staff at Laclede School uh, has the talent, the energy, the expertise uh, to be, um, be nominated for such a prestigious honor. My favorite teacher is Ms. Hickman, and she's the school counselor because she likes to help children out a lot. My favorite teacher at this school is Ms. Smith because she teaches us things that we don't know and teaches, uh, teaches about black, a lot of black history. My favorite teacher here is Miss Smith because she teaches us a lot about who we are. Well, I don't have a specific favorite class, but uh, I like all the classes at our school because they are fun to be in. And teachers, they just help us to work hard so we can get smart. I was chosen to be an escort by the IC, Ms. Char Charleston. My teacher also chose me. And I come to school with uniform on. And you have to do that in order to be an escort. And you have to have uh, good grades. I was selected to come to be an escort. My teacher, my teacher, Miss Robinson, she picked me, Rihanna, me and Rihanna, because we do good on tests test and uh, have a great attitude and come to school. As an escort, I tell the visitors that, that come to our school about our school. I tell them what we do at our school and what makes our school number one. Whenever visitors come, Ms. Charleston, our IC instructional coordinator, or Ms. Roberts will call all the escorts downstairs by the office. And if we don't have our uniform on, we can't escort. Then we introduce ourselves to the visitors, tell them our names, 
and then they might ask us questions and we'll try to answer them. At Pierre Lucky Elementary School, we've adopted the uniform um, wearing policy for the students and the staff. All the staff members participate with this voluntary effort because we're setting the tone for the students. The students love it and the parents think it's a phenomenal effort. We use a lot of incentives to push our AAA standards. Within attendance, we use the sock hop. If the students come to school every day, that Friday they will be able to participate with the sock hop that we hold in the gymnasium. Along with the sock hop is open mic, where we allow the students to get the microphone and they can either deliver, deliver poetry or they can make up their raps or what have you, or they can just even sing. As far as incentives, incentives 